the most anxiety-filled moment of a child's life. Mom, where are you? Please come back here because there's only one more customer in front of me and I do not have the financial means to pay for these groceries, so please find your precious box of chocolates and get back here already. Oh, crap, the cashier only has three more items, two more items left to swipe, but I'm eight years old, so I can't just call my mother. And this is 2003, so I can't just call my mother. I'm a helpless watchman at the bottom of this box, lighthouse, awaiting the mothership. And I'm not even old enough to cuss in this situation, so I think, oh, shit, talkie. Mushrooms, my eyes look up at the cash collection, must have been 150 years old. Sweetie, are you ready? Uh, my mom should be back any second now. I hope. October 12, 1995. The product of a high school fantasy was born. I don't blame my parents for separating. Especially now. I was conceived when my parents were 17 years old. At 17, I was still leaving the mustard out of the fridge. People tell me, Alex, you have your mother's eyes. My mother tells me, Alex, you have your father's humor funny. An English teaching marine with no Achilles seal. My dad back then was God. I no longer believe in God. In his early 20s, he roamed Paris toward France, got drunk in Mexico. Occasionally, he visited to see a Little League game or two every single week, and I saw my mother in the stands, hair in bun, glasses in stress. She'd take a break when I was up to bat. I saw my dad, who's with Malin, just Morgan. I liked Morgan. When I was eight years old, my father married without my knowledge. One of the few times I can distinctively remember crying as a child. On the contrary, when I was six years old, I went to the beach with my mother's new boyfriend, like a grocery store, like a checkout line, like it should have been funny, like I remember the day as a pleasant one. We took photos on the backdrop of the Pacific Ocean sunset once developed. I ripped every photo that he was placed in. My mother, picking up the pieces, made a scrapbook when I dated. She didn't date for the next 10 years because of me. I stole the pretty years away from her life. Her words, not mine. Mother, I am sorry. Mother, you are strong. The guilt that I carry knowing I am your healing seal leaves pain in joints like ballet dancers. Mother, every distraction, every crack in the concrete, every single grocery I can bear so you find the box of chocolates you so deserve. I pray for the love of God.